Hey music colleagues, my name is Jose Ochoa and I'm the band director at Little Cypress Mauriceville High School in Orange, Texas. I am excited to join the CMA Foundation's Unified Voices for Music Education initiative. We know last year left us with a gap in instruction and quality time spent teaching our students face to face. I'm here to share a lesson plan on sight reading to help give you some thought starters as you get back in the classroom. This is an asynchronous lesson that uses Sight Reading Factory. For this lesson, we'll be using SightReadingFactory.com. Once you're on their website, you can click register at the top and create an account as well as purchase any student accounts you may need. Once you've done that, you can log in and we'll go through the process of setting up an account. Once you've logged in, at the very top, you can click on classes. Then we're going to click on new to create a new class. You can call the class whatever you would like. And then you can select whatever level you would like for this group to sight read. Then you hit save at the bottom. In this section, you'll be able to add students into this class. So you can enroll them by just clicking right here if they're already on your account. Or if they're redeeming a student code, they can also enroll themselves in whatever class they belong to. Then you click save. And that's created the class. Our next step would be to create an assignment. So under assignments, you'll click on new. You can title the assignment, whatever you would like. For this instruction, we're going to say select instrument and level. Everything else will be selected for them. If you allow unlimited attempts, they can try the exercises as much as they would like before they submit it to you for grading. If you click on complete notification, the software will send you an email whenever they submit an assignment. You'll set a due date for the assignment. You can also schedule a release date if you'd like to release the assignment at a different time. So we're going to let them choose the instrument and level. You can also do the same with key signature and time signature, or if you want them to work on a specific key or time, you can select those and it'll stick to those keys and times. Here you can change the measure count as well as the time. The countdown length is how much time they have to view the assignment before the countdown starts and then they have to record to submit. You can also add a metronome with or without subdivision. And then you have a few other options that you can add down here if you would like. Once you've done that, you can hit save. And that's created the assignment. Now it's ready for the student to go in and start practicing and record their assignment. When the student logs in, they'll be able to see assignments and classes. So we're going to click on assignments here at the top. We're going to launch the assignment that we just created. Here it'll either ask him this test his microphone, or if that's already happened, you can just skip mic check. Your instructions will show up over here. So for this one, we're, just, we're going to select instrument, and we'll also select the level. Everything else is already pre-selected by you, so you'll see on here the review of what, it, what he's about to do, and we'll hit start assignment at the bottom. And this will generate a random eight measure assignment, and as you can see, the timer starts right away, so he has 30 seconds to study it before he has to play it. Once he's done, you can either play back the assignment so he can hear it. If he didn't go so well, you can hit try another and it'll create another random one, or you can submit the assignment. Once your student has completed the assignment, you can log back into your account. Under assignments, you can click on the, that assignment and you can click on grade. This will allow you to play back the assignment. Then you just assign a grade and give them some feedback. With Sight Reading Factory, in addition to creating assignments, students can also practice sight reading on their own. You can also use this website in class and have your group sight read full band exercises. Once set up, this site can be used for both in-person learning as well as virtual learning. Thanks for tuning in. 
you want to see more like this, visit cmafoundation.org.